Hello, you wonderful people, and welcome to another episode of Crime Centric. This being a show or two of crime dramas that I watch. For today's episode, I'm going to talk about the latest episode of Big Sky. A lot of really interesting things went down in this episode, so let's break it down. First and foremost, we're immediately picking up after last week's, ep well, yeah, last week's episode, where uh, Travis is pulling a gun on uh, Cassie, as it's like, right, we're in this standoff situation. I'm surprised they didn't ask questions about, how'd you know they were cops? But it's like, well, I guess it's like, right, maybe he just knows his way around things, and maybe he just knows, and it's a good thing he knows, because it's like, right, well, luckily everybody gets to just walk away from this situation, but Smiley's like, oh, we should have done something, Dietrich's like, are you stupid, there are cameras, you want to pop a cop on camera, it's like, there are better ways, better places to dispose of them, so... They kind of had to walk away from that situation. Kind of licked their wounds. Um, obviously, Travis and Jenny meeting later on. And she's trying to talk to him about everything. He's like, right, if I hadn't done what I'd done, that situation could have ended a lot worse. But she's like, hey, I'm just, you know. But it's like, he's like, whoa, 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 we got to slow down. She's like, well, no, no, that's not what I meant. Because she didn't have a chance to tell him how she felt. It's like, yeah, she she feels, you know, for him. But um, he's like, no, like, that... Things could end badly for both of us if I get found out. But lo and behold, who's following you? Smiley. It's most likely either Smiley was following because he's, like, suspicious of him, always kind of has been. And also, like, once again, like, how'd you know they were cops? That might have been what was going through Smiley's mind. But also, uh, maybe he was just following Jenny and just happened to find. It's like, oh, you're going to be snooping on us? I'm going to be snooping on you. And ended up finding Jenny and him meeting. So he's using this as a means of, he's like, oh, I'm blackmailing you. Like, oh, you're, you're basically my bitch now. Comes at the mo, but the moment like Dono's there waiting for him, I'm like, this actually might be to his benefit because it's like, right, if you could get Smiley removed from the equation, then this kind of benefits you. Two birds, one stone type of thing, which I love the earlier scene. I just, I, they're not going to be around the entire time. Sadly, one, if not both of them are going to end up dead, Ren and Dono. And I so bummed about it because I love their dynamic so much because she's talking about her brother, like having a very scorched earth perspective on things. And then she's just kind of like, yeah, like when something wasn't just right, he teared the whole thing down. She's like, I'm the type of person that goes in, I find out what the problem is and I fix it. Not like my brother who just smashes things just because one thing was wrong. And so she's eating the eggs and she's like, what did you do to these? And he was like, yeah, uh, dollop of mustard. And she's like, there you go. Him with scorcher, you and these mustard eggs, uh, but it's good, right? She's like, that's beside the point. Admit that they're good. She's like, all right, they're good. I'm like, I love, they're doing dynamic. It's just so cute together. I love it. I'm like, I want you guys to be around forever, but I know you're not going to. Just because I like you guys so much, I know you're not going to be around. Ah, uh, that's such a bummer. But they ended up kidnapping Travis because um, they want to use him because they believe Diedrich has their drugs. And it's like, Travis is telling the truth. Diedrich doesn't have your drugs, sadly. But um, when it's all said and done, though, um, they decide to torture him. It's like, phone book to like his body so he gets pretty bruised up and i love that rin's over there making a mean girls like oh we could be like i thought we were gonna mean girl this situation and it's like but i guess not like, we were gonna mean girl dietrich or something like that and so at the end of it um i love that it's like oh you must be dumber than um i'm, I'm sorry what's your name again don't know oh, okay uh fat old don't know over here i'm like because at first he's laughing because I thought he was going to say like, oh, it's funny. You're trying to kill me. You can kill me, get pissed all you want. DJ doesn't have your drugs. I thought that was the perspective he was going down. He's like, no, because she had earlier asked him like, oh, is there anyone you would die for? Or is Diedrich someone you would die for? And it's like, no, but it's like, oh, but there's someone else. But then like he takes advantage of that. And he's like, right, I'm not the person that Diedrich cares about. You kill me, it won't mean anything. But smiley on the other hand that's kind of his right hand guy so like maybe him and big sam are the ones that try to rip you off so diedrich could be blind to that so it's like all right needs an address and everything so they roll up on smiley later on but not it's well I'm, I'm 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 jumping the gun with a lot of stuff before we even get to that let's talk about the fact is that uh cassie uh saw um uh, max's key it's like huh same thing we found out that crime scene with Harvey. All right, roll up to, is it, oh, you forgot your keys. Yeah, that's very interesting. Does anyone else? Oh, yeah, like plenty of people in my grade have it. Okay, cool, cool. And she's like, I was like, dude. And Max ends up reporting that to everybody of like, yeah, Cassie's asking too many questions. It's like, Madison's like, well, we could go to Cassie. You say she's pretty cool, right? But then like, Bridger's like, yeah, we, we're too deep. I think it's like, 
right, not only did they steal the money and the drugs, they've been neck deep in all this. I think they're like worried like how much trouble they'll get in. Because it's like, yeah, because Cassie's not even a cop. She's a PI. So I think maybe there's something there that would still, she's, to me, she'd be more trustworthy because she's not a cop, but maybe because she's still connected to the cops. But it's also probably like, we're so deep in this now. Like there's no way we're, we're walking away from this without like getting locked up or something. Might be their justification. It's like, we only have each other to rely on this situation. And uh, Max comes home and, Oh boy, who's waiting? Mom and Tila. Because I'm assuming after Matt, uh, after uh, Cassie had showed up, and even been like, yeah, this is Tracy. And he's like, oh, I go by Tila. I'm like, I get it, but I'm like, you're getting some, you want some stranger to refer to you as your nickname, which even your own, not because not even your stepdaughter, like, your girlfriend's daughter thinks it's the lamest thing ever. Like, like it's one thing, like, people calling you a nickname is fine. But it's like, it's another thing when you're telling people to call you. It's like, no, that's not how to, people are supposed to just naturally call you by your nickname, not because, not for you to be like, oh, call me T. Like, it's like, oh, that's lame, dude. Don't do that. And he's even getting cats trying to be like, oh, like, it's just like, he also looks so creepy standing there eating the apple. But, uh, Max's mom messed up and, uh, oh, she told T-Lock everything. Oh, color me surprised. I was like, no, I knew she was going to do that. But Max didn't think, it's like, what made you think she wasn't going to tell your t-lock about it you know and it's like right i was like are you are we really going to like that's why i'm also like max are you not going to bring up the fact is your mom you're trusting a guy that's always shaking me down for money i mean you know why i had to spend that like yes i'll admit i got the two thousand dollars from some other money associated with this there's no uh, it was only drugs there was no money but one also, the fact is, like, mom, this guy shakes me down for all my, like, that's why I couldn't give you any actual money of mine to, uh, for your tooth surgery, just because this deep, for uh, for your tooth, it's because this D-bag shakes me down for all my money, but it's like, right, all of this is towards the family, so she's blind when it comes to him. Like, she, we've already hinted at the fact that she already kind of has, like, like, I think some of, like, probably like some alcohol issues and stuff like that. It's just like, she exchanged one bad thing for another. It's just like, Maybe there's, so, like, it's just like, oh, T-Lock may be an utter douchebag, but maybe he's nice to her. And it's like, so you ignore a lot of his bad qualities of what he does to you. He kind of, he kind of supports and helps. So maybe that's a justification for why, like, but it's like, I, that came as no surprise. And she's like, right. Uh, she knows she kind of messed up and she knows Max won't forgive her because it's like, I told you to not do this. But it's like, oh, T-Lock, no, no, don't worry. I'm going to get the, hand me the drugs and I'll turn them in. I'm like, you bet. We know you're not going to. I mean, you are already trying to blackmail her with the drugs you had found on her already. So it's like, you're not a good person. Of course, you're going to take advantage of this situation for yourself. But he'll probably be like, no, 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 it's for the family. I'm looking out for all of us, babe. So I wonder, does she co-sign it? Because well, she's naive enough to believe that, like, T-Lock is actually going to take it into the cops later on when Max shows up with the drugs. Because she left out Harper, Madison, and Bridger. She's the only one involved in this. She's She only mentioned herself in this. And she also didn't mention... well. She said the only money she had was the money she spent on on her mom's tooth. And obviously, they're still like, what, uh, $400,000, $492,000 left, it should be. Because they each got like two grand to spend. I believe that was what, yeah, so. Oh, but what does good old T-Lock do? Exactly what you expect him to do. Didn't expect him to go to Smiley. Now, that was interesting when he's like, oh, I got these drugs for you. He's like, whoa, you're trying to rip us off. He's like, no, man, I just found it. But yeah, you give it to your boss and then I will, uh, you know, or you and me, we could like, you know, you could sell this on your own and kind of make some money and I get my cut of it and stuff like that. So it's like, cool. I was almost worried because like he was with Smiley. I was like... Oh, well, it might work for everyone because even Harper was like, at the end of the day, it's fine. Like if he gets caught with the drugs, oh, well, they'll blame him and he'll go down for it. So uh, either he gives it to actually returns it to the cops, fine, or he gets busted with the drugs, fine. Uh, it works out for them either way. But I was thinking like if since he was with Smiley, I was like, oh, boy, well, we know the cartels. Well, we know Ren and Dono are coming for you. So I'm like, uh, for Smiley, so I was like. Is T Lock gonna get caught in the middle? But it's like, no. Uh, he called up T Lock. They are like, oh, I'm ready to make the rest of these deals. Dono rolls up. 
they tussle, Ren stabs him, and I even love Ren, Ren being like, oh, do you need something to drink? He's like, maybe some milk, and she's like, okay. I'm like, what is this relationship you guys have? I love, I just love their dynamics so much. It's so good, like, the way they bounce off of each other like that. And I love that he found the pills. He's like, hey, look at this. And she's like, is that a used condom? And he brings it over. She's like, oh, wow, I need glasses. Oh, that's not a condom. I need my glasses. Oh, th these are our drugs. It's like, cool. Smiley did have it. So it means Diedrich did, in fact, steal our drugs. So, plays out on that front. Um, obviously, the whole thing between Jenny and... Um, Travis, she's trying to be there uh, for them because I obviously she rolled up on Diedrich being like, yo, where's Travis? Like, I'm here to arrest him because, uh, well, not his, you know, his, his fake name, but it's like, oh, Mr. Stone, like, where is he? I'm going to arrest him because uh, he pulled a gun on us and stuff like that. But I wonder, did Smiley ever tell his uncle? I mean, he was taking advantage of it with... Um, with Travis, but it's... Uh, Going to take advantage of it with his uncle Diedrich, but it's like, still don't know. It don't seem like, I don't know, like with, when him rolling up on um, Travis's place like that later on, and it's like, oh, we're going to go for a ride. It, and he's like, yeah, we're going to go see Smiley. So I'm assuming it must mean that Smiley must have ratted him out at some point in time. Because it also means he doesn't know that Smiley's dead at this time. So we'll see how that plays out. But sad thing is, because... Um, now he's in the inner circle with the uh, cartel because they're like, yeah, this is someone that um, they need someone that they can trust on the ground considering they can't trust, like, at least from their perspective, we can't trust Diedrich anymore. I mean, to be fair, Diedrich is making his own moves. Uh, the kind of like, if ties cut with the cartel, he's going to potentially be fine anyway. He plans on cutting ties with them anyway, but just the drugs, uh, it's just like, it just makes them pull the trigger on this a lot faster than probably Diedrich was hoping, like, probably was hoping to separate this relationship a little more peacefully and not be as, uh, bloodthirsty and, um, death riddled as it's most likely going to end up being. Uh, we already got one casualty, in, well, there's a Big Sam situation, but he kind of screwed the pooch on for everybody, but then you also have, um, everything with, um, now Smiley being dead, so probably the moment like they arrive, they're probably going to end up, and both, if not one, if not both of them could end up getting it, Travis or Diedrich, we'll see, but Jenny was in the room at the time, and Travis was like, no matter what happens, stay down, because you don't want to, he didn't want her to, because we don't know which way this is going to go, and you doing this could end up compromising my, uh, my, uh, um, me being on a cover, so, it, because, this episode kind of puts you in, I mean, both of them are figuring things out, you know, it's like her and, um, Travis, and then also you have everything between, uh, Cassie and Lindor, which, you know, they're out for lunch, and, um, she's like, yeah, like, I should have actually accepted your, um, anytime you asked me out on a date beforehand, and she's like, you know, but that's kind of like her process, and so, like, here we are now, so this is kind of a good start, so, but kind of puts him in an awkward position, too, because, like, he does like Cassie, but there's also the whole situation with, well, for one, he's looking into the whole, um, still looking into the whole Ronald thing, but she wants, you know, she wants her distance from that, but also, everything between him and Jerry, it's still unclear, because she's like, I, I, I think Jerry's kind of accepted, like, right, there's probably not going to be anything between us, but she, because she'd asked last episode, like, did he think anything could have happened between them, which I think it could have, but, um, maybe that, because Cassie did say, like, oh, she felt like he was holding back a little bit, and I'm wondering if that's part of it, because it's like, right, he knows how Jerry feels about him, and maybe, did that make him question how he feels about Cass, or at least it just complicates things, because it's like, right, I know how Jerry feels about me, and I like her too, but then I'm also like, right, I'm here with a, I like Cassie, and, um, I don't know, it's, it's definitely gonna be interesting to see how that plays out, but obviously him rolling up on, a uh, Wolf's place because of, uh, uh, Jerry's, like, ended up, like, leaving his address behind and stuff, and so... The girl was there, pretends like it's under, like, the right pretenses of, like, oh, I'm here, you know, because of Jim the dog, whereas, like, they had to hide Scarlet and, um, Ronald, which he's asking Scarlet questions, like, where were you? She's like, I went to the bathroom, he's like, you were gone for a long time, and I went to do this, he's like, oh, really? I was staring at the star, she's like, oh, really? He's like, she's like, did I need your permission? He's like, no, I just didn't know you were an ast astrologist or something like that, and it's like, yeah, I probably don't want to admit that you were reporting on him to Wolf and that you are slow dancing with him. Ronald already hates the guy's guts. That's just going to add more fuel to the fire and probably add more fuel to the fire of him against you. So, 
but uh, they're being locked up. Uh, I love that, like, Ronald's, like, banging on the wood, trying, but obviously, like, Agatha, like, puts him, uh, uh, Wolf's wife puts him in his place. Uh, it's like, yeah, this is your last warning. But, um, I mean, granted, he didn't know who it was. He didn't know it was Lindor. Probably wouldn't have been too receptive on, like, oh, Lindor being the one to find you, because he would have found you. But probably still would have presented enough chaos of a situation for you to potentially escape. So that's probably how that would have played out. But uh, Wolf isn't just good at reading animals. He's good at reading people. So he sees through uh, Lindor and immediately recognizes, like, oh, you you aren't who you claim to be. He's like, yeah, I'm a marshal. I'm here looking for Ronald. Do you know, do you know who he is? He's like, yeah, he was my brother's business partner. And obviously it's like, oh, were you aware what your brother was up to? But Wolf's wife is like, right, uh, why uh, my uh, husband has shame, you know, like wishing that he could have done more, helped his brother. And it's like, help him how? It's like, he's like, I could have fixed him. And it's like, yeah, well, we see what his whole, because his whole thing is about like, rather than, because like, once again, he's like, he believes like, not only like, the only way Ronald is going to properly, like, if I turn Ronald in, that's not going to be enough. There's multiple levels to it because it's a part of him wanting Ronald to confess. It's like, right, I'll be be able to truly fix you if I can, um, if I can get you to confess, and then that way, because it's like turning him in should be enough to clear the Ligarski name, but it's not enough in his eye. It's like I've got to fix Ronald because maybe on some level it's like, right, by fixing Ronald, I'm making up for the fact that I couldn't fix my brother because a lot of the principles he applies to the animals, particularly the dogs he has that he helps. Uh, he's applying that to humans, that humans can be broken of their bad ha habits. Because even uh, him and uh, Lindor were kind of back and forth with that. But um, the moment Lindor was leaving, I was like, okay, good. Because I thought when uh, his, uh, Wolf's wife was fixing something to drink, I was like, don't drink it. Don't drink it. But it's like, oh, they didn't turn it in his home. Because I was like, are you going to knock him out because he's suspicious? Because he knows something's up because he notices like those uh, those that chocolate cereal. I'm like, well, me and... Uh, Jerry found that at a place that Ronald was at, so we know like he's, his sweet tooth and how he cares about uh, cereal like that. So he was already suspicious of that, but then he's also like, what did Wolf mean by like he would have fixed his brother? And so he goes back, because the moment I was like, please don't go back. Please don't go back. I was like, please don't make this a Cody situation. I was like, that would suck that both of the men that, that each of them care about, whether it's Cassie, whether it's Jenny, both of the, the people that the people in their lives they're now caring about are potentially ending up in a terrible situation, you know? Because like Jenny and Cassie had a heart to heart about the whole thing about like, right, um, Jenny um, and how she, you know, how she's guarding her heart. Uh, which, you know, even Cassie's like, yeah, after everything you've been through, all that you've lost, like, it's understandable why you want to protect yourself. And obviously Cassie's trying to protect herself in her own, you know, both of them have their walls up for similar and different reasons. Um, but I'm like, man, please don't let anything happen to Lindor. Please don't. He's a good guy. He's a good guy, Lindor. Like, I don't want anything bad happening to him. But I'm like, he's putting himself in a terrible situation. Travis is... Because... Without spoiling it, I saw something last step uh, that's going to be in the next episode. I caught a little glimpse of the promo, which I ha wish I hadn't seen this part, but I saw a part of it and I was like, ooh, somebody's not going to have a good situation. Uh, I, I, I can't even say like, oh, who? Like it was something designed that it hides who it was. It's going to be like a big shock reveal, but I'm like, if it's anything, it leans it. Well, I, I won't even say where it, the circumstances and who's involved in that particular scene kind of lends itself more so to be someone else but like it could still end badly for a lot of people next episode so that's what i'm kind of worried about i didn't even talk about it but harper did track down well the guy was waiting outside her place and she's asking like thank you for doing what you're doing he's like you shouldn't have been there in the first place uh, and she's even asking like why he did he's like my reasons are my own don't worry about it but he's like right they will come after you and she's like we know and even at the end of the episode she um found him outside of her work and because he's he got wounded during a scuffle he, he's been bleeding ever since so another angle to this is uh cassie's suspicions uh the fact is that once again she confronted max but max denied it so it wasn't anything enough but it's it is just suspicious that just it's just too much of a coincidence so Max um so Cassie ends up following Max and she show her make out with Harper. So I was like, all right, this is someone you're close to that you might be covering for. So uh, Harper makes her like a cup of coffee or whatever. And then she happens to notice the heart. I was like, yep, 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 from the, the stone. So it's like, okay, that might not be enough. But took the cup as evidence. I run her prints because the prints from the thing, like uh, no one's in the system because she hasn't been arrested. So all they have to do is compare the prints and boom. 
there's a connection there. So definitely sets up a lot of really interesting things uh, for the next episode. That also introduces a smaller thing in the background I thought was interesting. I'm curious to see where that ends up going. But uh, Cassie's dad is planning on buying a ranch. And he's like, right, this could be a place that, like, you know, um, Kai could grow up in and have fun. But also, like, eventually be there for his kids, you know. Because there's a whole conversation about, like, you know, black cowboys and cowgirls. Like, you know, um, yeah, like, we've always, like, you know, it's like it wasn't a known thing. And he was like... Cassie made a remark about like, oh, like, uh, we exist. And he's like, it, it, it needs to be more than just exist. We need to be seen. So I'm curious. I'm hoping that's not just going to be something that's set up to be a situation where like, at least there'll be some good in Cassie's life. If something happens to Linda or like, I hope it doesn't come to like, I hope that's not what that represents. I'm curious to see uh, what they end up making out of that. I mean, to be fair, like Cassie is doubling down on family and not trying to get mixed up in all this Ronald related stuff because, uh, her family would get dragged in the middle of it too, but I'm wondering is that going to become like a larger plot point that like either that's just going to be a uh, uh, part of the story for Cassie or whether that's going to grow into something more storyline wise. Will will they have some connections to some stuff or not? Um, I also didn't talk about it, but we do see that Jag is uh, making his way to um, making his way to Montana. And I love, like, Ren is in no shape or form a scalpel. She'll think of herself as a scalpel, whereas her brother is kind of the chainsaw in the situation. I think she's kind of a chainsaw in herself, but, you know, she's, a, I guess, a smaller chainsaw, and her brother's, like, a much bigger chainsaw. Like, she thinks she's the one that's like, right, I'm handling things very systematically and stuff. Like, uh, she's covering her bases, I mean, to the point none of the locals are aware of her existence and stuff like that. But she's leaving some bodies behind in her wake. I mean, granted, like, the Harvey thing, it's like, well, that didn't... That wasn't on me. Uh, Big Sam situation was, but not Harvey. I'm also curious to see like what Tanya's role is going to be in going forward. Um, what she'll necessarily do because Ren gave her like said like oh we got something for you, but beyond that we haven't gotten context for that. But then also um, now this thing was smiling and there's going to be more bodies dropping. Uh, it's, it's definitely going to be a tall up. Like I said, either Diedrich's going to get it or Travis is going to get it or both of them are going to get it. We'll have to wait and see. Uh, Big Sky is going on a bit of a break. It's going on a three-week break, which, once again, shouldn't be too surprised because a lot of... Well, not as long, but some things are taking like uh, that length of a break. Uh, but, you know, Thanksgiving is next week and everything, I believe so. But uh, I'm excited to see what happens when the show comes back in three weeks. That will be December 9th, so do keep that in mind, so... Uh, but really, that's all I want to talk about. Until the next time we meet, be happy, be safe, low light to the fullest, and enjoy it. Good day, and goodbye.